Virtual production has grown exponentially over the past few years, with new techniques and cutting edge technologies bringing new capabilities to a wide range of production environments. And no company has supported the production workflow more than Sony by providing cutting edge camera and display and tools to key production members like VAD artists and cinematographers, Sony helps simplify the adoption of virtual production so that you can be dedicated to the creation of your artistic vision. Sony has been a supporting member of the Entertainment Technology Center, ETC, at USC with a focus on virtual production. ETC is at the forefront of providing valuable feedback to the industry on how this advanced filmmaking technique can best be utilized to support cinematic projects. Sony supported ETC's most recent endeavor, a short film project called Europa, written and directed by Jacqueline Elise Rosenthal, and supported by a collaboration between USC students and industry veterans. This project benefited from a workflow combining many Sony products and tools, and today we're going to reproduce a shot from this film to better demonstrate its capabilities. In the world of filmmaking, the magic doesn't begin here on the set. It unfolds in the realm of planning, a space where imagination meets preparation. Before the cameras roll and the lights are on, the essence of a film is born through creative minds working in harmony. But bringing these visions to life, particularly with cutting edge virtual production, presents its own set of challenges. Sony has revolutionized this process with a virtual production tool set. So, what is this tool set? Well, the virtual production tool set is designed to streamline pre-production, ensuring a seamless color workflow from conception to capture. That's done by supporting each workflow, having a color pipeline control by collaborating LED to camera through realistic blending so that the camera out is already correct, creating a smooth workflow. Now, let's dive into the core components of this toolkit. Meet Virtual Venice, a simulation inside Unreal Engine of Sony's most popular cinema cameras, Venice and Venice 2, with more additions on the horizon. This tool empowers filmmakers to preview with precision the creative look captured on set, refining the creative process outside the constraints of live production. Our upcoming demo will contrast the virtual business simulation with actual footage showcasing our commitment to authenticity and creative freedom. Camera blocking takes a front seat in pre-production. It's the art of positioning for the perfect shot, especially crucial in LED volumes to prevent moiré patterns, those visual disturbances that can lead to costly retakes or extensive post-production fixes. Moray Alert, a Sony innovation that anticipates potential artifacts, displays a heat map to guide camera placement and lens settings. This predictive tool, a testament to Sony's integrated expertise in cameras and LED technology, helps navigate the intricacies of virtual production, offering real-time insights on set. The color calibrator marks the culmination of our tool set, addressing the variability in LED wall performance. By harmonizing the color science of our Venice cameras with the LED display before shooting through a bespoke calibration LUT, this application ensures consistent quality, streamlining what was once a cumbersome process into a swift, reliable procedure. All these features are being demonstrated here in our virtual production tool set demo area, where you will also find an early look at upcoming features like support for additional virtual cinema and broadcast camera models and integration with Unreal Engine's VCAM application. Now that we've walked through the work that happens before filming begins, let's shift gears to what happens on the set. We've exported any work that was done during pre-production to our on-set camera, the industry-leading 
Venice 2. And we've applied our calibration LUT to the LED display that you see behind me. This newly released Crystal LED Verona features cutting edge performance with a 2.3 millimeter pitch model running on the Megapixel Helios platform. We can now be sure that we're continuing to work in a color managed workflow. Today, we're fortunate to be joined by Eric Wolfie Wolford, the visionary cinematographer behind the Europa project, to share insights on navigating virtual production challenges. Wolfie will highlight the considerations critical to virtual production, focusing on camera dynamics, the interaction between lighting and LED walls, and the fusion of physical and digital worlds to create immersive storytelling. Please join me in welcoming Wolfie to the stage. Look at this beautiful crowd. Awesome. You know, you, uh, you are what you spend your time and your money on. And I appreciate you all coming out here today to learn about LED walls and further your own technology and use of them. So I'm Eric Wolford. Everybody calls me on set. and Everybody calls me Wolfie. I work mostly in LED walls when I shoot. I shoot narrative, I shoot TV shows, I shoot uh, commercials. I even shoot seven camera multi-cam on LED walls. So I'm in the trenches using this gear every day. You hear a lot of things in these demos about, oh, VP toolkit, more tool, like, you know, are you ever gonna actually use it? Is it just like fluff? What does it really matter? Well, let me tell you exactly how much it mattered this week. So I get this phone call, panicked producer, my favorite type of phone call. Hey, we need three days to change over the wall from the other TV show to our show for elevator pitch. I don't think we can shoot in the Miami. We're going to have to move it to Fort Lauderdale. We don't have the time. I'm like, calm down. We need 20 minutes to calibrate the wall, not three days. No, but every season you've shot, we've needed three days. It was like, yes, but Sony just solved all that. For real, yes, I just used it in January. It was amazing, it really works. What I would have to do with a DIT at the cart for three days, guessing at colors, looking at scopes, now they just have a scientific program. We put up a physical color chart, they put a digital color chart up. The camera sees the digital wall properly, it does the math, it goes to the server rack, and in 20 minutes you genuinely have the colors that are in real meat space matching digital space. So, what are the things like the Moray, and what are the other parts of the VP Toolkit? Well, let's use this demo as an example. At first, we were like, I think eight feet is gonna be enough to do the demo, a physical set. Well, let's put it in the VP Toolkit. When I rent an LED stage on a shoot, we're looking at a $75,000 a day to be on a LED soundstage. That is not the time to find out you have the wrong camera lens for how far back you can get the camera. That's not the time to find out that you had eight feet of physical set and you needed 10. So when I put it in the VP toolkit, we're like, oh, you know what? We actually need to bring the actress a little more forward so we don't have more A when we're on the tight shot. Let's add two feet of physical set. It's that tech viz becomes so important to your shoot, right? You need to know what you're doing before you reach the stage. What we say is you need to fix it in pre, right? There's no fixing it in post. It's what you get on the day is what you get, right? So let's talk about some of the other stuff, right? You hear black levels, right? People are like, oh, how's the color on the wall? The color's important, but the first thing I'm going to check is black balance. What is black balance? It's two things. The first part of black balance is how dark the screen can look while it's still showing you bright things, right? What does that mean? This is a perfect example. This is a hard set to have on lesser walls. Why? Because of two factors. The first factor is the whites are super bright, daylight exterior whites, right? The wall will literally contaminate itself. The blacks look black, bright whites here, crisp line, no graying out, right? You're working in an LED volume, 360, right? The left side of the wall with the white portions will blast like headlights on the right side of the wall and gray it out, right? So that's what we call the wall contaminates itself. 
So this wall does not contaminate itself, right? It just looks black and it looks white. The next thing is daylight exterior. I need to flood this set with lights. When we go into the demo mode, you'll see this bright light comes on and kicks white light everywhere. That white light will wash up onto the wall. The Verona is unbelievable at its ability to eat up spill light, right? Every light I introduce on set has an egg crate to do that. Let me show you this. Kylie, turn on this Aperture 600C for me. Here's a hard direct light, right? Spotlight. Pointed at the wall. Blacks are still black. It eats it up. This is why it's the best wall to shoot on. Go anywhere else on the showroom floor and ask them to point a light at the screen and see what happens to your color space and see what happens to your black levels. This, why is that important? Well, on lesser LED walls, you better be inside and you ne better not have a sunlight set and you ne better not have a daylight exterior set. Or you're gonna be running into problems fighting it. You're gonna fight getting ambient light everywhere on the actress to fill that space, right? Get the tools that get you the most range in your virtual sets. It's worth spending the money on the best wall so that you can run it for seven to 10 years. You buy some of these other walls. The other walls started their life as Jumbotron TV screens. COVID hit, they started renting them, and then the manufacturers started making them smaller for ICV effects. Sony had a $20,000 17-inch panel that's a color-accurate reference monitor that I use as a reference and they took that panel and expanded it into a wall. Night and day engineering. And it really shows up in the color space and in how it works. So let's go ahead and invite our camera operators. Let's invite Brittany to set here. Kylie, my dimmer board op, let's go ahead and go into Europa lighting mode. Let's go ahead and show you what it looks like when we put it all together. This is an establishing shot that we shot on Europa. We're going to show you the parallax. We're going to show you the blend, where the physical blends into the digital. It's very important that everybody work together on these. You know, you have a team that really pulls it all together. Everybody does their part. The, you know, Beth Goodnight with the, the set decoration, the Pixo team with their digital artwork. Okay, let's go ahead and roll camera. And here we go in three, in two, in one, and action. Notice the parallax of the physical and the digital mid-ground and the digital background. Take a look at the snow line going into the dirt. And we'll cut on that one for a second. Keep the uh, Europa lighting up. So you see to your naked eye the light. It looks like what you get on the camera. And the camera sees it right. And that's all that VP toolkit making it seamless. Okay, let's go ahead and move into a close up. All right, you use good physical set work blending nicely into the background. We blur that line between the digital and the physical, right? And then when you go into the close-up, you're just looking at all digital. But you believe it because you've seen physical real objects properly parallaxing with the background. If you get a good establishing shot, then you can do everything on the wall inside of that. It's one of the advantages of the walls, right? You get situations where you have to re-record some lines. We've built the set and done the physical blend. We shot it. Oh, you know what? Uh, marketing says we need to change one line. We can catch up to the actress we shot in LA, we can go to New York, we can load up the same scene, put it on the wall, redo a close-up, not have to rebuild the whole set floor. And let's go ahead and roll camera. And in three, two, one, action. I 
I love the Cook lenses. They have a very cinematic feel. You can point the practical bright lights right down the barrel. It feels like they're real. It gives a little halation, but then it lets the skin tones play right through. Amazing quality lenses. As we zoom in, the Pixo team has wired up the system properly, so the background magnifies, the blur becomes different based on the focal length, right? These are all things where the LED wall is behaving like it's just a physical three-dimensional set. All right, I'll hand it back. Thank you so much for checking out our demo. Let's go ahead and cut. And Kylie, let's go ahead and go back to presenter lighting. Thank you. All right. Well, let's give them a big round of applause. What you just witnessed was one shot being captured. Feature films may have hundreds or thousands of individual shots, which is why every technical efficiency helps. Similarly, remote production techniques can be used to shorten the post-production workflow. Here at our Brain Bar, we're demonstrating our new RPU7 remote production unit and ME80 Media Edge processor, which can allow for remote collaboration during principal photography. While shooting, footage can be reviewed in real time using broadband, wireless, or tethered transmission. Well, that's a wrap on our demo. Thank you all for attending, and if you have any questions at all, we have several Sony representatives here that can answer them for you. Please be sure to stop by later to view our broadcast-focused multi-cam live switching demo. Thank you so much.